hello everyone I am back again with a new tutorial uh, today I am going to show you how to monitor uh, EC2 memory in CloudWatch so let's get started so by default uh, CloudWatch provides uh, a few metrics to be monitored for the EC2 and these metrics are like uh, um, like CPU utilization network in network out and uh, there are some other uh, tools as well one of the major uh, major things for an instance is uh, its uh, memory uh, consumptions so how much memory is available at this moment that's important to know by default it's not available in CloudWatch matrix so we need to install some additional tools uh, to get that done in. so uh, let's uh, let's do that first I need to create an EC2 instance so let's quickly do that uh, I will do it very fast if you have uh, if you want to know how to install an EC2 please go check my other videos where I have given details so I will just install it I choose Amazon Linux one T2 micro then uh, the advance I will run some commands for installing the Apache server so I previously copied it so I just take it here and paste it then I go to add storage fine I can get the tag security groups <coughs> I just add my IP ok that's it then I go to preview and launch I have the key here so I'll just acknowledge this okay great so uh, I have created the EC2 instance now next I need to assign an IAM role to that EC2 instance to do that I need to go to uh, IAM IAM is means identity and access management so here I create go to roles and then I create a role a role is a temporary uh, permission to an AWS service like EC2 RTS Lambda to access other AWS services so let's choose EC2 and to give permissions to EC2 and then we want to give permission to uh, CloudWatch okay so uh, let's select this and go to next next so I give a name EC2 now watch full access okay. then I create role so the role will be created here then I go to my EC2 and uh, I need to assign that role to that instance so to do this I click action and then instance settings and then I replace and attach an IAM role then I choose here cloud was full access apply close okay so my uh, role has been assigned so let's check if the web server is up and running Okay, the Apache server is up and running. So now I'm going to go to uh, my terminal and connect to that instance. So I have previously downloaded the PEM file. You can see my other videos to see how to download the PEM file and give permissions. I usually go to downloads, then SSH, okay. PEM file. User 
and then the IP address let's see if we can connect it yeah so now I have connected to the instance great now as we have connected to the instance now I need to install a CloudWatch agent to do this I have created the commands previously so let's run one by one uh, if you don't know these commands you don't need to remember this I, I will just put my uh, put those into the description of this video you can take it from there so it just needs to be a file needs to be downloaded first so let's download this file and put here paste then Great. Then I go to install that project agent. I'm creating this tutorial for Amazon Linux. If you have a different platform, then your file, this file would should be different. But after that, the commands are same. So uh, you can ask me in the comment section. I can give you the your <coughs> OS based file. So let's run this command to install the CloudWatch agent. Okay, it's installed. Let's open the config file. So it has a config file that uh, that will tell us what needs to be monitored and uh, how to be monitored. The frequency. By default, it's empty. So let's put this. I've created the previous uh, settings here previously, but I will explain what it does. So. Okay, I paste it. So there are two things I uh, I'm going to monitor additionally. One that is uh, the access log, Apache access log. As you can see, its location is var log HTTP access log, and the other is memory used percentage. How much memory we have used, and its interval is thirty seconds. So these two metrics I need to I want to monitor. So let's uh, save this file and quit. Then I need to do one more thing, and that is to run this command to con take the config and start the CloudWatch agent. So I copy the command and run it to this terminal. Let's run it. Okay, the last command, last message I see Amazon CloudWatch agent is process running, started and running. So this is the process. So it means it has been started and it's running. So let's um, let's see what is going on here. So uh, to s to see the update, we need to go to uh, CloudWatch. So here is the CloudWatch. Okay. Then we go to CloudWatch here. In the CloudWatch, we will see a new matrix available for that instance that will show us the memory utilization for that instance so we go to matrix section this might take a few minutes one or two minutes so I, I pause the video for a minute and then I come back again okay I'm back here so it it looks like the uh, CloudWatch agent has been started so you can see here CW agent in the matrix section if I if you go to matrix then you see CW agent that is CloudWatch agent if you click here you see host if you click here it's your, your private IP so uh, if you have multiple uh, instances running and you wanted to see which instance this is you can differentiate using the private IP so it is 172.31.18.135 if I go here I will similarly see this has a private IP of 172.31.18.135 so you can just uh, filter with your uh, multiple instances by just copying the private IP here and then paste in this area and we'll start ok let's uh, click on this checkbox to see details and uh, we can see that it has been started from just uh, now and it was initially 17.2 now it's 17.6 so 
in this process you can see your uh, memory how much it has been used and uh, how it's empty and how how you need to optimize your application so um, this is the process of uh, memory monitoring and uh, <coughs> I have added another uh, log as well that is for uh, access log monitoring so let's uh, try to verify that as well so now I'm going to go to the home on root directory and create an index html file Maybe I just copy from from the old. I have some files. Okay, I have now copied the text from the uh, from my local files to here. So let's save this file and run this to the browser. Okay, as you can see, I have I am now seeing the text. So let's go to uh, logs area and see if we can log our access log. Here you can see access log we have. And then, if, we, if I see the details, here I see I have uh, these are my access logs here to this Apache. If I just see here, here is the request from this IP. This is my IP. Uh, this is requesting for fav icon. So, this is a requesting for powered by. So, uh, I can see all the Apache access log in CloudWatch. So this is a great monitoring tool if you are uh, setting up your web server with Apache then you can log all the access logs in CloudWatch and view it in a real time interval. So uh, that's really helpful. So that's all guys. Uh, I think this video helps you a lot and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and see other videos. Thank you for watching. Bye.